So, this is a real live, real time reaction video. Uh, as you guys know by now, um, Tory Lanez has officially been sentenced to 10 years in the state prison in Los Angeles, California. Now, I really wanted to kind of do a video that was more so freestyle than off the dome to more so give advice to all young black men as well as young black women <clears throat> now i've already kind of expressed my um feelings when it comes to how i felt about that situation of, like a couple months ago when he first got found guilty personally do i think he did it I really don't know. I wasn't there um, from what, in my personal opinion, the story doesn't sound consistent enough um, from somebody who actually took criminal justice courses in college. My mind is actually in criminology. The stories don't really sound 100%. It doesn't, there is no which way, every which way the story could go to where I 100% believe that he intentionally shot that lady. If he did, he did. If he didn't, he didn't. Personally, I feel their best friend shot at her because as they were fighting, and Tori tried to wrestle for that gun, and Tori did end up taking that gun and letting off, letting the empty hand out the clip five times. And that's basically what the actual witness said that Tori's team brought up. So... He most likely probably did fire that gun. I don't necessarily think it was at Meg. But that's neither here or there, and that doesn't really even matter. The biggest thing is that all of this could have been avoided, and all of these situations in the future can be avoided if most young black men and women lay off the alcohol. Um, me personally, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Never been one of those type of people. But, what I will say is that, uh, a lot of women, a lot of black women, and a lot of men, when they do get under the influence, they do not know how to maintain and control themselves. The whole backstory prior to the shooting, when it comes to Megan was acting irate, very irate, being very aggressive, they're saying... Tory was acting a little irate and being aggressive as well as Kelsey. And that goes to show that if you can't control your liquor, you probably shouldn't be drinking at all. And that goes for all three people part all three people who are involved in the situation. And I've even heard prior to this situation, I've heard various situations to where Megan has been in several situations to where she can't control her liquor. But a lot of people treat it as because she, because she's a woman, it's considered okay. Like, it's not okay. I, personally, I do feel like 10 years is a little bit excessive, considering the fact that the story doesn't all 100% add up. And maybe we will get the real story. Maybe you know, when Tori eventually gets out of jail. But personally, I think, you know, probably a good five to six would have been okay for the possession, but I don't see 100% that Tori, evidence that Tori actually did it. Now, if there was an actual real evidence outside of he say, he say, he say, she say, and Megan actually getting on the stand and pointed out compared to what the actual DNA evidence says, then I would be, you know, my mind would change instantly. But this video is more so just to let it be known as like, as adults, as black people, we definitely need to learn how to control our emotions and control ourselves, especially if we're going to decide that we're going to drink and be under the influence. Part two of my reaction to, you know, Tory Lane's getting to in state prison. So, to finish this video off, um, I do want to let it be known that, um, 10 years is really not that bad. 
considering he was facing 22. His biggest concern probably will be deportation. Um, but it's nothing that you can't bounce back from. Personally, you know, this is what happens when you deal with people who can't control their liquor on both sides, right? And also, this is what happens when uh, you're in places like L.A., honestly. Um, in places like L.A., had this case would have happened in Florida, personally, I think this whole outcome would have been different. But since it's in L.A., L.A. was kind of looking to prove a point and make an example out of buddy. So, I say this to say, make sure you guys are being a lot more responsible uh, with every action that you decide to take. Especially if you're in your entertainment business. And also, lay out the alcohol.